If not, uh, let us. Well, I don't know. Sustain. Um, May I approach the witness, Your Honor? Well, he says he doesn't know, so I don't know if you're going to be getting to if he relied on anything. So I think you got to get there first. This is the Razapan level. That's well, wait, what, were you, what are we showing? I'm showing you the Razapan article by Basalt that he's already stated he relies on. Is it, the question isn't relies on. The question is... Can we, can we go back to the uh, podium, please? What's the objection? Mr. Walden. I'm trying to remember the question, Your Honor. Uh, well, how about if I read this? Yeah, the objection is he's not indicated he relied on this article in forming a specific opinion. The objection is sustained as to the specific question. Okay. Uh, Mr. Rogers. Dr. Rogers. Dr. Rogers. Uh, if if uh, the basalt article indicated that the bioavailability of oral lorazepam was 93%, would you rely upon that for your opinion? Objection relevance. The objection is sustained. The question is, has he relied on it in terms of any opinion he's offered? Sustained. Have you read the, the uh, basalt article on lorazepam? Yes. And have you relied upon it? In this case? That opinion? Wait a minute. Is there an objection? Yes, objection. What's the objection? He has not indicated for the foundational purposes that he relied on it in forming that opinion in this case. Well, I think that's the question. Re ask it, please. Have you relied? Have you relied upon it to determine the uh, bioavailability of oral lorazepam? Uh, no. Is that because you forgot? What you re read in the article? Well, objection misstates the testimony that he formed that opinion in this case. The objection sustained. It assumes facts, uh, not an evidence. If you were to read Basalt's article, would it refresh your recollection as to the bioavailability of the Raspan by oral? Sustained. So as you sit here right now, you have no idea whatsoever the bioavailability of oral lorazepam? Uh, that's correct. The lower the bioavailability, the more pills it would take, isn't it? Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, do, you, do you know whether or not the bioavailability is above or below 90%? He says he doesn't know. Sustained. Could you estimate? Sustained. Based upon, uh, well, can we approach that? Uh, yes.
Good afternoon. Great. Time. Please remember all the admonitions in writing as well as verbal. And we'll be in recess until uh, 3 o'clock this afternoon. Thank you. And Dr. Rogers, you may step down. Please don't discuss your testimony or the facts of the case with any other witnesses. Thank you, Deputy Jones. In Dr. Murray's case, the defendant is present with counsel as before, the people by counsel as before. Dr. Rogers, once again, is on the witness stand as before. All jurors and alternates are present as well. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Dr. Rogers, good afternoon again, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Sir, do you acknowledge you are still under oath and still sworn to tell the truth? Yes. Thank you. It'll be resumption of cross-examination by Mr. Flanagan. We were, we were talking about lorazepam, Dr. Uh, are you familiar with the half-life of lorazepam? Yes. And according to, would that be somewhere between 9 and 16 hours? Yes. And uh, what that means is if a person had a 0.16 level of lorazepam in their blood, Somewhere between 9 and 16 hours later, they'd still have a 0.08, wouldn't they? Yes. Uh, 0.08 is still a lot of lorazepam, isn't it? Uh, well, I think it's enough to produce an effect. Well, and as we've previously discussed, one pill will get you to a 0.018, correct? Yes. And that's the the prescribed dose for therapeutic effect, isn't it? Uh, yes. Okay, now, would you agree that it would take more pills of lorazepam to achieve the same level, more milligrams by pill to achieve the same level as you would an equal amount of uh, the equal level with <laughs> let me let me start over your honor that's vague it takes more oral form of the razapan to achieve the same blood level as IV form doesn't it yes so where the blood form where, where blood has a hundred percent bioavailability, oral pills have less than a hundred percent bioavailability, don't they? Oral. Uh, bioavailability is one reason for the difference. So do you know what level two milligram dose of IV lorazepam would achieve in blood? Expertise, If you know, you may answer. If not, you can tell us. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Sustain. When you uh, formed your opinion as to cause of death, you looked at the levels in the blood, the postmortem levels of propofol? Yes. And you looked at the postmortem level of the benzodiazepine, which was primarily lorazepam, correct? Yes. Now, did you form an opinion? as to whether or not either one of those levels, either the level for propofol or the level for the benzo or for the lorazepam, separate and in of itself would be lethal. Yes. Now, the propofol level, which you consider the 
conscious sedation dose of two micrograms per milliliter, the anesthetic dose of four micrograms per milliliter. Did you form an opinion as to what a lethal dose of propofol would be? Uh, based on the medical literature, yes. Okay. What is the lethal level for propofol? Uh, it can range between 1 and 17 micrograms per milliliter. 1 all the way up to 17? Yes. And what literature did you rely upon to form that opinion? Uh, I'm using a toxicology table put out by Winnick. Could you say that again? Uh, again, I'm having a little trouble hearing you on the in-court mic. I'm, I'm using a toxicology table put out by Winnick. Okay. Now, if a person is at a point, uh, uh, two points. Just give us just a moment, please. Again, the in-court system is different than an out-of-court system, and there, there's some problems here, so Deputy Jones is going to help us out a little bit. If you give me a moment. Well, that's the easy part. Give it to tap. Could you tap? Speak a little closer into it. It will help us out. I'm sorry for the interruption, Mr. Flanagan. A person at a 2.6 level of propofol. You could wake them up with painful stimuli, couldn't you? Uh, there's many variables in proper hypothetical. Just by itself? Yes. Overall, you may answer. Uh, you should be able to wake them up. I mean, you, you, you stick, a, stick a scalpel in somebody with a 2.6, you'd expect them to feel pain, wouldn't you? Yes. Uh, do you know what the anesthetic level is for lorazepam? I don't know. Do you know what the level would be for lorazepam to describe the person, patient subject only to painful stimulus? responsive to painful stimulus.